Welcome to the Talk Over podcast, a conversational platform for the DJs by the DJs, brought to you by Double and Stylus. Swag. Tune in every week to hear us talk about all the things we see, hear, and experience as DJs. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel at youtube.com forward slash talkover or follow the Talkover podcast page on Spotify. No, 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 no. Someone said they were actually getting joke off my intro, my um, my Breakfast Club intro. <laughs> Someone actually picked up on it. Chris Murdy, Chris my Scottish Murdy. DJ friend. Big up Chris Murdy. New settings. It's New been settings, a, We've man. had a hiatus. It feels nice and bright in here. I like it, man. I it's, like it. Is this see? Is this season two now? Are we on season. This is the up, this is two. the upgraded um, the upgrade of season one. This is like when you get the extension on the end, a couple of extra episodes in there, isn't it? Yeah. So we definitely, obviously, need to address the fact that the last two Wednesdays were not. There's someone, someone's trying to incredible. Someone's hulks, trying to kick the door down. <laughs> incredible hoax trying to get in. That's the mob outside. Basically, they're trying to bang the door down because we haven't put an episode out. For a couple of weeks now. Two weeks. Uh, two weeks. Basically, I was leaving the club and I got a flat tire. I got a puncture, I should say, because I have run flats on the car. So I managed to make it home. This is what he says happened. I don't actually know if this is true or not. That's why yet. I rolled up in a different car today, <laughs> bruv. That was two weeks ago, yeah. I just want to say the car company involved, fuck it, I'm going to hot them up. BMW have taken two weeks to not change the wheel on my car. It's still They still have it. See, guys, German just, cars are not the one. It's just the flat... A flat tire, that's all it is. You just need to replace the tire. <laughs> You've had a mad to Literally, I could have done it quicker with a toothbrush and a spoon. <laughs> and they've taken two weeks and the wheel's still on the car. So, yeah, so that was so, the reason. It's a good enough reason. And it's because we record this podcast in Manchester and I'm in Maidstone. And I sort of forgot that trains existed as well. So I could have got the train up, but I didn't. No, but anyway, no. obviously we have conflicting schedules as well. You're, things are going mad. We're busy you. guys, bro. Like... So we're kind of like squeezing it in the gaps a little bit. And obviously it's approaching summer now. So yeah, you know what it's like, bro. Summertime for DJs. Everything gets a bit hectic. Um, Travelling, bookings. Like we're doing other side hustles. You're doing a studio. Like I've just finished my moment, studio. Yeah. Creative. <laughs> like, yeah, it's all it's all a bit mental, man. But we're here. We're back. We're back. I made Don't it. Don't leave too long. I made it. Doubles back in the ends. Yeah, the car I'm driving at the moment is disgusting, bro. You're driving in like a... Um, it's like a BMW it's like one of them family of estates. Ford Galaxy, but it's the BMW. You know, version. like you see like Jane and Bill driving on the local street <laughs> in the ends, you know what I mean? You're next to Nate, like <laughs> Steve and Carol with their three kids in the back and their Going dog. Going out in the, the Passat today. Their, yeah, they've got their Labrador <laughs> in the boot. Oh, but we're here. Talk Over is back, back in, in the building. building. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm happy. So um, A lot's gone on in the last two weeks, you know. There's been a lot of topics we're going to be covering, I think. But <laughs> the first one I spoke to you, actually, we were going to cover this two weeks ago. So it's kind of not such a, a hot pressing topic now, right now. But it is something that I actually wanted to talk about is, as DJs, should we be banning artists from our club shows, from our playlists, from our radio shows for fuckery behavior? So this has come from the back of... The, was who was it? R. Kelly. R. And, Kelly. And that was it. Triple X Tentacle Man or whatever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Triple How would you say that guy's name? Extination. Ex I think. Extination. Ex I think. But I'm extension. Not I'm not extension. Ex Plug. Ex extension cord. But let's not get Bombs confused like with two free though. But yeah, Triple X Tentacle Yeah. I don't know about that guy's music, man. I've seen that R. Kelly situation online and obviously is that his... So is that his issues? Yeah. So <laughs> Spotify for the people that are super super late. So obviously we're not hot off the heels on it, but Spotify removed R. Kelly's music from their playlist. Not from Spotify. It's still on there on, on his page, but they removed it from any playlist. So any like sexy time playlists or R and B greats. It's in none of their playlists. So just off but, the Spotify playlist. They're but not, if you search not for R. Kelly, yeah, yeah. you can. Excuse me, you can still find his music and stream it through Spotify. It's just not on the playlists. Okay. But actually, this isn't where the conversation stems from. I had a conversation about three weeks ago with an artist who came up and he requested Freedom to the Lions. Now, this is where it gets deep. It's about to get deep. Cool. It's because Solo 4-5 is in prison at the moment. Yep, 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 yep. I know the story. And it was all in the papers, so I'm not dry snitching here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was arrested. I don't think he's been charged as yet. I mean, he's been charged, but I don't think he's been tried as yet. But 29 counts of rape. 
So for me, it's I'm like, man. that's that's like that's horrendous, bro. That's we're getting deep now in the podcast already, but that's horrendous. And Yo, for we me, had a two week break, so let's not hold <laughs> yeah, back <isn't> today. <laughs> well, uh, so my personal stance on it, yeah, is I'm not going to support the man's music. Like that's that's that I, I, there's not even words to explain that kind of crime. Do you know what I mean? Like those 29 counts, bro. Like. Has it been... <sighs> It's a tough one, man, because you know what it's like in today's society. It's innocent until proven guilty, isn't it? And until you, until you're actually proven. Yeah. Like twenty nine, though. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. Okay, I'm aware. I'm throwing him under the bus, <laughs> and I might <laughs> fed into further, the lions, literally. Yeah, but further down the line, there might be like a public apology. This might get yeah. me in trouble, etc. But this is my personal feeling. So a guy came to the club, and he was like, "Can you play feed him to the lions?" Da, 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 da. And I was like, "No." And then he he was like, "Why not?" And so here I am in the club suddenly finding myself having to justify why I'm not going to play it. And I explained it to him. I was like, bruv, the guy was arrested. This is what for. I don't feel that I should, I don't feel like I want to be supporting the music of someone that does that thing. But then you know what? I kind of realised I was a little bit hypocritical with that because I'm more than happy to play a Vibes Cartel set. Like not just a Vibes Cartel record. I will play a Vibes Cartel double set. Double standards that double. Yeah, it is kind of hypocritical. So for those that don't know, again, Vibes Cartel's in jail for about 35 years for murder. Not just murder, I mean like weapons charges, drugs charges. And then it got me really deep in my brain was like, rah, so like, he's a murderer. Like he actually properly killed someone, but he makes bangers. Makes so I'll, bangers. Play his, I'll play his music because it bangs. And still pots out bangers from the and cells, still, mate. Even still now. But then Solo 4-5 hasn't even been convicted and I'm sort of, that's my reasoning there. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to put my hands up and be like, it is a bit of a hypocritical stance. So, so why, so why, was, why, why support a murderer? Exactly, yeah, that's not, exactly not, but the, not, but not a rapist? Well, that's, and that's what I've been, that's the conversation I've been having with myself in my head about like, which is why I wanted to bring it to the podcast and put it to you and put it to the community, the people that are watching it. We've got a, a large amount of DJs watch this and have the conversation of should we be banning artists like is it what they do in their personal life and outside the studio compared to the art like I does, think does it's gotta be I think you've got to nip it in the book before before it gets to Spotify these artists shouldn't be allowed to put out music like mm. at the end of the day it comes from a, a label it comes from like an A&R like if then people are fucking with these artists when they're under charges for this, maybe not, you know I mean, not trialed yet, not proven guilty or whatever, but people are still messing with them. So why allow them to put out this music, allow them to have this fan base and then pull the rug from underneath them? You're basically saying, oh yeah, we're going to let you have all the money, we're going to let you have the fame, we're going to let you make the music, we're going to let you put it out there, but we're not going to put you on our Spotify playlist. But yeah. we're going to let you stay on the platform anyway. R. Kelly's getting more plays yeah, you since that. they pulled him from the playlist. It's getting, I mean, it's kind so of it's like him hitting the headlines, bro. It's, it's promotion, it's really. Pro, he's, get, he's, get, he, he's sat there getting like obviously it's bad press, but bad press is good press in, in some situations. Yeah, he's he's probably still thriving. I, I think he, to answer your question, it's not a case of letting them get onto the platform because more times we might not know, like, I don't know if R. Kelly was doing this stuff before he was famous, mm -hmm. but it's only all come to light because he is famous. He's not the only person on planet Earth doing this stuff, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but we don't hear about them other guys because they're not famous people. So the music's already out there. The fame has already been brought to them, but then it is a case of, do we, do we ban them? Like, are, are we as DJs supposed to ban them because like, well, look, you've really done that, like, that's a horrible crime. You've done it, so I'm not. This sounds pretty music. bad, man. I, I I gotta be completely honest. Like, that doesn't cross my mind, man. Like, yeah. I've, been, I've been playing. Like, I grew up on the West Coast hip hop. Like, these men were shooting each other for banter. Do you know what I mean? This was like that was like when hip hop beef was was real. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But music was still popping. People were still playing their stuff. Like, it sounds bad, man. It sounds like I'm just like fully neglecting like the issue. But the last thing that comes to my mind when I listen to an R. Kelly song. The last thing that comes to my mind is him doing what he's what he's been up to or supposed yeah. to been up to. Not just R. Kelly, bro. It's exactly like yeah, you there's say, a handful like, of artists. Rap music in general. Look at Bobby Schmurder. How lot he, he dropped he dropped the hot the hot rhythm and yeah. then 
I swear he went jail within a couple of months. Bro, I think that whole, that song was basically listing everyone that he's killed. <laughs> no, I, I... Like, and that's the thing. I'm a hot boy, it's, come and arrest me. I know, basically like he just hotted himself up. But again, yeah, <laughs> that tune banged in the club. So what he's talking about there, yeah. we're playing. Mm -hmm. And again, if you t bring it to Skepta, his line like, God forgive me if I bust my nine. Like exactly. he's talking about shooting guns. I think a like, lot of people take the lyrics and not actually absorbing fully what they're saying yeah like, definitely definitely and they're just repeating these words and they're singing along to these songs but whether they're actually regurgitating the content for what it is like skeptic saying that i bet you i bet you that's probably going over a lot of people's heads the everyday listener yeah. is not thinking oh yeah i'm skeptic bussing nine like they're probably yeah, just yeah. They're, they're just singing along mm -hmm. like i don't think the everyday listener looks at that deep maybe for djs obviously we we get it we understand I don't know any... I've had this conversation with a few DJs and generally I seem to be the only person that is like, yeah, we do need to like not ban... No, sorry, we do need to ban artists for fuckery. I, like, I haven't met anyone else that has that opinion. They're like, you know what? They make bangers. I'm here for the music. I'm not here for the other stuff. There's one thing banning them from the clubs is DJs, but then like banishing these that like, these people are still going to flourish on, with, just because of the power of social media. Yeah, but like, I mean, I, I just mean like so we from, could we could boycott we can obviously boycott them. Yeah, whether that's that's not going to solve the the problem. No, and I'm not even saying like collectively we need to be like right everyone get together. No one play this song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just mean personally like no, I haven't found any other DJs that have thought. Oh, you know what? Well, yeah, such and such did this. So I'm not going to play their music for that reason. Okay. They literally just, the general consensus is, it's a fucking banger. So I'm going to play it because it bangs. But I mean, then going back from past episodes, we know like, I don't play music I don't like. I'm a selfish fucker. Yo, every time, everywhere, bro, everywhere I go now, yeah, people are on me about this, playing Good. songs that you don't like in the club. Yeah. Because of that conversation. I, I'm get, I get parred regular now because of this podcast. Really? Yeah, I'm not happy, bro. <laughs> we could actually you know what let's it quick, always pops up in my whatsapp i do man. i want to i want to skip off topic real quick because while it's in my head <laughs> there was something i said in an early podcast which i want to address um and it was uh, about djs that have day jobs oh yeah that, see this see this one no so what i said was yeah it was Excuse like me, guys, I'm, just, I'm not eating today yeah so you help yourself bro um what I, what I said in the podcast, the early podcast, was if you have a nine to five job that's not in the music industry, then you're not like, you're not a DJ basically. But I didn't mean it as harsh as it sounds because people got onto me about that. And there was a lot of DJs hitting me on my DM like, you could tell they must have a day job and they DJ. Only people that have a day job got rattled about that. So I, 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 be, I get where you came from. I want to clarify what I meant. And I didn't mean you're not a proper DJ if you have a day job. But what I do mean is you're not a career DJ. Yep. And by that, I make a living off DJing. Like well, I you're essentially a part-timer. Yeah, basically. you're doing half DJ and half day job. Yeah. And so my, my thing about that is, yeah, if you have a day job and it's not in the music industry, so you work, my example that I gave before was insurance or working on the phones, or you might be a mechanic or you might be whatever, but you DJ at the weekends, then yeah, cool, you're a DJ, of course, because you're DJing, but... You're not a career DJ. And by that, I mean someone that puts everything into this as a business. Yep. And the reason I look at the, the people that have ordinary jobs differently is because they don't rely on the income from DJing to survive. They have their nine to five, Monday to Friday. They go to the office, earn their cash, and at the weekend, they just go out and do whatever because they've got the job. So the reason that they're different to what I consider career DJs is because those are the people that are driving the, the price down for DJ. Does that make sense? No, it does make this sense. This might be a whole nother conversation yeah, opening the, the, up in a whole is, new podcast. a whole different suddenly conversation. Suddenly trying to get we away might from need, the... This can be the next episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, <laughs> no, my point being like, they're the ones that have the option to go out for low fees because they don't rely on the money for DJ. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, it's true, man. Because they, so, don't, they don't have to... And then they don't have to make up the extra cost in it. So they exactly. like, oh, I can go out for fifty pounds because I'll make three hundred pounds in a week doing my day job. Exactly. That's exactly and, and that was that, that was my point. So I'm it not, just like waters it down a bit, isn't it? Yeah. And I'm not getting at anyone for that. Like I respect everyone's hustle. I respect you more if you have a nine to five and you're DJing because mm. I used to do that and I know how hard it is to do the nine to five and then be out at night time DJing. Like so I do maximum respect for people doing that. But there is a difference between someone that's doing it just for a bit of fun. I'm a part-timer now then. 
No, well, no, because <laughs> no, 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 it's different. It's I have different. a day. I have a well. I always had a day job anyway because I was DJing full time and yeah. I was just using that time to create. But obviously, that creating has turned into but a it's creative different. business. It's different. I mean, I, I'm running events and I'm doing studio work and stuff, which isn't technically de- technically DJing, but yeah. it's all built around DJ double. And the bulk of my income comes from doing four or five club shows a week. Yep. Same with you. Majority of your income comes from it's DJing. Bookings, yeah, and man. it's all based around style. It's starting to level up, DJ. though. Jeez. Yeah, but I mean, you know my point. Anyway, I hear so you. that I hear you. that's me just actually defending myself against the, the barrage of comments. The YouTube that, police. That I upset. So I'm sorry if you I upset dicks. you. Dicks. No, I'm only joking. Dick. <laughs> sorry if... I'm actually, I'm not fucking sorry. No, I am. <laughs> I, <laughs> I am sorry if I upset... I'm not sorry. I don't care. Actually, right. it won't be it won't be as bad as the controller real. debate, mate. I don't care if I upset you, but that's my explanation. Um, Back to um, you. artists on Spotify. That was a proper left curve, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, that, 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 that was a curve. That was a curve. So yeah, ball. banning banning artists. I am the only person on planet Earth that seems to cut artists out of my playlist for fuckeries, but I'm a hypocrite because I only ban certain crimes. <laughs> you just yeah, and, yeah, and because his music's pretty pretty pants. Vibes Cartel makes rhythm. You know what? That could be. But part, that, can't, that could be part of it. Yeah, it's part honest. of it because like, you're you're um, telling me if Solo made like UK anthemic bangers. Obviously, Fiends of Lions is semi in that category a little bit just for the gas that it. It's not a good whatnot. song, but it's, it's not a, a good song. But it's a gas in it. Mosh pit but song. if he I'll had the, a back catalogue like a vibes back catalogue, for example, obviously not that style of music, but you know what I mean. That same wave he's got bare with him. Yeah. I reckon we'll be talking about it in a completely different light. But yeah. then again, so we, it just. It just begs the question then, why do people, why do artistic artists and why do these, why do these people get a pass musically for doing these crimes? Why is it that Vibes Cartel has killed someone, but it's this, like, this, you know what? He plays bangers. This is what I'm saying. Like, he makes bangers. This is what I'm saying. Why it's got to okay? be stopped before it even reaches these platforms. They're still being given the output. Yeah. So it's like... No, but he's been Vibes Cartel for... Years, yeah, we ask, but like, then lock him off then. If my so man's a murderer, yeah. So that's what like, I'm saying. So don't let him put music be... on Spotify. Like, don't let him put his. Don't don't let it. Like, there to download. There on the flipping DJ City. There on this. Like, whatever. It's around everywhere. Don't make it accessible then. Yeah, it needs to be cut off. That's the only way to stop that. It's cut it off at the root, innit? Mm. If my man's been done for murder and he's then, you can't expect people to boycott it or like stop supporting and whatever else when it's out there everywhere do you yeah. know what I'm saying it's like, mad it though, makes like... it makes it impossible it's basically like semi glorifying you're not glorifying a murderer but basically saying it's okay for this guy to still be in the public eye and make peas inside jail yeah essentially yeah my, my, I reckon Vibes will have a studio in his cell mate he's got that place on smash it wouldn't surprise this rhythm's coming out every week where are they coming from but I, I <laughs> yeah I do know from? that he leading up to his incarceration he just went ham in the studio he, bro, he was recording like 10 records a day okay. because he actually knew that it was coming he knew something was happening now, without going too deep into it like he was releasing a lot of statements there was a reason okay. he was bleaching his skin there was a reason he got tattooed yeah, I don't know everywhere. the full story of the vibes thing and I've read bits and that, I do believe not... he released a book just before he went away as well Okay. and really put himself in the public eye because and his explanation, if I remember rightly, was as a voice of the ghetto, basically, as a voice of the poor people, yeah. the rich people and the system didn't want him to be speaking out. So he knew that he was going to be put in jail. And, you know, around his arrest, like, there's loads of, there was loads of evidence tampering and phones were going missing and all sorts. Like, Where was he sentenced? In Yard? Yeah, he was in Jamaica. He's in, in jail in Jamaica. But, ev- like, the whole court case was very, very, like... Weird. Suspect, but again, that's a that's maybe like a that's different a different, a different conversation. I'll but be honest, all... man. I'm not gonna stop playing these songs if the bangers. Yeah, like just for the same reason why they're allowed to put all their shit out anyway. So why why should we yeah. stop? If it, I, I don't I don't think it'll make a difference whether we boycott them or not. Like I'm a DJ trying to support the music, man. Maybe whether that's wrong or right, I don't know. Yeah, but like you say, you're probably one of the only people that that I know of. That will say, yeah, I'm not paying my man stuff because oh, he's on trial for this or whatever. Like it's it's a touchy one. I think that just goes down to personal belief, man. Like, yeah. If you feel like you shouldn't be backing this guy, then I mean, remove him from your set. I I gotta be honest, like I don't think that deep about it. Like I don't. I like R. Kelly, no matter what he's done. I might not like him as a person. I yeah, like his yeah. music. Michael Jackson, 
that's a different story. Love his music, love him. If he's done whatever he's done, I don't know. Like, same vibes, solo, like, plenty of artists. Like Countless. Bro. Countless. It's happened to a it's lot endless. of people. From a, there's even, there's even rumours about Wiley and stuff. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like, there's, yeah. there, like, there's a lot. But, I don't know, it's just, it is just baffling to me and I don't, I don't know if, I don't think there is an answer because, yeah, if it happens, so, okay, Vibes Cartel has been arrested and, and found guilty for murder, so let's ban his music and the back catalogue, everything leading up to that, so what do we do, can't. just erase him from the history of music? That's impossible. But it's even, even right. like, you could take, you say, but then you look at other artists that have, like, had the run-ins with drugs, like, people like yeah. Amy Winehouse and all that, like, it's illegal. Yeah. But it's glorified. In the music game, everyone's rapping about it, singing about it, lean this, lean that, weed, drugs, pills, Molly, Percocet, whatever is going on. Still, everyone's still supporting and glorifying that. Yeah. It's, it's not, obviously, it's not murder, it's not rape, it's a different thing, but it's illegal activities, man. Like it's 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 like I don't know, man. I can't explain it. It's weird. It's like music makes it semi acceptable for people to talk about this shit in public. Yeah. Like imagine I went to my job and started talking about that, all that stuff, that content. You're out the door. <laughs> but, we put, but we can put out a song saying in the club this weekend we're popping Molly's blah, 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 and yeah. I'm getting rich. It's the game we're in now, man. That's where the, that's where the music game's at. Like, a lot of these artists are glorifying all this. Like, it's crazy. Yeah, it's it is crazy, mad. bro. It's it's everyone. People just got ultimate freedom of speech now, and and just get what they can out of the game. I guess mm. content. I don't think it's really affecting what people are supporting. I don't think I've like I said earlier in this podcast. The everyday listener ain't thinking about it that deep. No. Maybe not even taking in what's getting said in half of these songs and they're rapping along to it. Like, you, you could say to the everyday person, you probably don't even know what a Molly or a perk set is. Yeah. Not only that, coming, coming, <laughs> that's yeah, like yeah, yeah, singing yeah. along with it kind of thing anyway. That's, that's the you know thing. I mean? well, I, yeah. No, I totally agree, man. They like, I think half the people in the clubs, they're singing the lyrics without even really deep in what they're singing. Mm hmm. And the, guess, Kendrick, the Kendrick thing with the girl. Saying saying the, the n word in that show the other day, yeah. like, I reckon that was pure accidental, yeah. And like, because she's not even thinking about the content of the song, she's not thinking if I say this word, all this is gonna go mad. Like, I'm not saying it's right, but I semi felt sorry for that girl. Obviously, Kendrick shot himself in the batty there, but it's yeah, like that it was, was a prime example of someone not listening to the content. Like, she knows that word is not right for her to say it, yeah, because it's in the song and it's out there. She's just got on stage and said that, and she's done it again. After she'd been told not to and booed and went and done it again still. Cause, like These people, they don't think about it like, that deep. Yeah, you know what it is? Actually, Charlemagne talked about this as well. I saw his clip online and he was saying basically like, she must have just got on the stage and just forgotten that she's not in her car. Because if it's one of her favourite songs, she's going to sing the words. She's not, like, even, she's, it's not even crossed her mind. And actually, Charlemagne said, so I'm not taking credit for counting this. He said that the N-bomb is in the song 21 times. There you go. And like... Yeah, I, I, that's that's a weird scenario for me. But like, okay, here's another example as well of that. Freaky Friday. There's no, that yo, sentence. They, yeah, I'm Brown glad you brought this up because like, this has been a, a conversation the last couple of weeks, actually. Yeah, so Chris Brown says it in the radio edit. They changed it to winner. Yeah. But he says it. <laughs> um, that, Is that what it says? He says it five times in the same bar. Because it says winner. Yeah, yeah, in the radio edit. <laughs> but it's, uh, it's the N one. I'm that winner. Yeah. <laughs> winner, winner, winner. But, bruv, do you know how many times I'm playing in a club in clubs that are like Bruv, big I want clubs? to jump out the booth and slap people. But they're singing it at the yeah. top of their voice. I know. Because they're not even thinking. But then Chris Brown's singing it and it's Little Dicky's record. Yeah, Little Dicky's white. I know. But imagine Little Dicky starts saying that on the record. Imagine the the backlash, bruv, if he starts dropping the M bomb all over that record. Yeah. We're obviously in different bodies in that. So we semi could have styled it. If you thought about it, no, nah, little played... Dicky as little Dicky can't say it. Yeah, yeah, it, like, bruv, that, that then, song. Okay, so this, 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 I don't know where we're going with this conversation. Now, I don't, but, but I like it. Let's Takeshi's Castle sixty nine, right? He's <laughs> where is he? Is he <laughs> Puerto Rican? Puerto Rican, right? I think he's Puerto Rican. He's not black. The guys, but Takeshi's he's allowed to Castle say sixty nine. Fat Joe, Fat Joe says it. But he's allowed to say it, like in in America. I mean, it's, like, does he? The six is six. Not, I, I don't actually. I don't actually know where he's from, man. Yeah, I think he's Puerto Rican, but I'm looking it up now. I'm not don't connected. Don't tell me you like that guy. I'm not connected music, to the internet. Don't don't get me started on this guy. Well, you probably play him straight after Gucci Gang. 
No, 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 no. I don't actually have any of Six Nine songs. I do like one of the songs. One, I can't even remember what it's called. But it's ta- my boy Ty Easy played it to me the other day. I was like, "Yo, this one sounds." Daniel right. Hernandez. He's definitely Spanish American. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it's Puerto Rican. It's Puerto, okay. um, oh, his Mex. His mum's Mexican, according to Wikipedia. His mum's Mexican. His dad's Puerto Rican. So okay. he's not black. And he's dropping it all over his Bruv. records as well. Yeah, I mean that's. Again, we're covering like 400 conversations in this podcast today. No, it's cool, man. But, um, we've, we've, it's because we've missed, we've, we've not spoke up. for weeks in it, so but it's, yeah, it's all good. That's that's mad. But um, the Chris Brown song, I'll be honest, man. Like, oh, I've got a big mark on my trainers, man. Pressure. Um, I'm not a fan <laughs> of when people use that word in a club. Paris, Jay Z, and Kanye. Yeah. Do you know how many people I like? Know. People come up and ask for it and go. Jane, Jane from Yo, Oxford. Yo, can you play? In Paris? Yeah. And I'm looking at them and I go, what? I've got Jane from Who? Oxford coming up and saying it. Jane like... from Oxford. <laughs> Sarah from Camden. Margaret from Maidstone. Exactly. They're all coming and saying it and asking me for it. Like, use your common sense. Yeah, they, come but... to the, they actually come up though and ask for the song and say the word like to your face. Like there's nothing wrong with it. I've had some, I've had some weird situations up with songs like that. Like, uh, what was the other one? Uh, the other hip hop song, man, and it was called My YG YG yeah. My Hitter. Yeah, like that was another one. People I had, come up. I had that conversation I, when I interviewed YG. Actually, I had a really good conversation with him about all right, that all exact right. same Damn, thing. Name dropping <laughs> DJ Double TV. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 but we, I, we brought it up because I said, "How do you feel about white people saying it?" And his answer was, "In the context of the song, at the performance, cool." Right. Don't come up to me afterwards and be like, yo, what's up, man? Like, can't run. Right, so Chucky spoke about this. Yeah. On his podcast the other day. Big okay. up, uh, Chucky and Poet. Check that podcast out because it is dope. They And he was saying, he doesn't mind it in the music. He can tolerate it. Do you yeah. know what I mean? In the music as part of the song. But people that are using it in everyday language and say it away from that, like, it just makes his head fall off. Yeah. And like, I, I agree. Like, I can tolerate it in the music. I, I despise the word. It makes me feel sick when I hear it. Like, I can tolerate it in music. Do you know what I mean? I get how it's part of like rap culture and it's been used since forever and whatever. And I get that. But yeah, I'm, I think I'm I'm on Chucky's stance with, with that stuff. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Don't use the N-word. 